Hello, my name is Pastor Jill Henning, and I serve as the Acting Bishop for the Southeastern Synod of the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America. It is with a heavy heart that I come to you today as we mourn the tragic loss of life and the trauma inflicted upon our community with the shooting at Appalachia High School in Winder, Georgia. Our thoughts and prayers are with the victims, their families, and all those who are affected, especially the students, teachers, and the staff of the school. We pray for healing for those who are physically and emotionally wounded. We pray for the families who are grieving an unimaginable loss of a loved one. And we pray for peace, a peace that surpasses all understanding, which only God can give. In our baptism, we are called to strive for justice and peace in all the world. And so we must be agents of change to confront the systemic issues that contribute to these acts of violence to call for changes to be made in legislation so that we can care for the vulnerable, work for the safety of all, and be agents of change. We cannot be silent in the face of this ongoing epidemic of gun violence in our country. I invite you tomorrow evening, Sunday, September 8th, at 6 p.m. Eastern to join our sister congregation, Nativity Lutheran Church in Winder, Georgia, who will be gathering the community for a service of prayer and lament to pray with them as they gather, that they might be filled with your spirit, that they might be filled with healing, that they might know that they are not alone. And then on Monday, as students head back to school once again, I invite you to call your elected leadership in your state, your senators, your congresspeople, your governors, and ask them, let them know that you want a change to prevent further violence in our schools and in our community. Together, we can make sure that another act of violence like this doesn't happen in our schools that our children can grow into the fullness that God created them to be in safety and in security. And so on this day, I invite you to not only pray for the victims, but to act, to act to bring about this change that is so desperately needed in our community. We do it in Christ's name. Amen.